What is going on guys? Ricky with the Flip Lab. Today we're going to go over pre-foreclosures. How to generate these leads, what is a pre-foreclosure, and why I love these leads so much. You can generate these leads for nearly zero cost, and they are going to be some of the biggest spreads that you'll get. And I love I love big spread deals. So let's let's get into it. So it starts off, what is a pre-foreclosure? Uh, pre-foreclosure, all it really means is uh, you're falling behind on payments from the bank. So you have a mortgage, uh, you haven't paid in a few months uh, for whatever reason. Maybe you lost your job, you just don't um, have money anymore, you got into some bad issues, but you stopped paying the bank. Once you stop paying the bank for a few months, what's gonna happen is uh, they're gonna start sending you letters. Um, if you don't catch up on those payments, uh, they're going to go ahead and foreclose on the house to try to take ownership back of the house for you not paying back the debt. So they'll auction off the house, you'll walk away with nothing, and that's how the lender recoups their money. So really bad situation to be in. Um, you don't want to ever get foreclosed on. That's usually the, the worst option. Um, you have a few different options as a seller besides actually selling the property to get out of that situation. Uh, first off, you can just you know, catch up on the payments. Uh, the second option that you have is to try to refinance the loan. Um, you could try to do a loan modification to change the payments, maybe, you know, move the interest around and um, see if that works. Or you could also possibly even file for bankruptcy. And that could give you a little bit more time to stop the pre foreclosure. Or the last thing you could do is sell for cash to guys like us. So these sellers, why I love them so much um, as far as leads is uh, when it comes to wholesaling and finding deeply discounted deals, it's all about fixing big problems. The more distressed, the bigger of a problem that you're fixing and the less options that a seller has besides selling it for cash, um, the better position you are in as a wholesaler or as an end buyer. So that's why these leads are so great. Now, um, you know, about half the leads, probably even more, maybe 75% of them um, that are in pre-foreclosure, they're going to end up fixing the problem. Sometimes it could be as simple as they're in pre-foreclosure because uh, they got a new uh, debit card and it was on auto payment and they just didn't notice that they haven't been paying their mortgage for a few months. So there's a lot of simple fixes for this, but there's gonna be a small portion of these that are in you know financial distress, they don't know what to do, they procrastinated this long, and now they got hit with a letter saying, Hey, in 90 days, if you don't catch up what you owe, we're going to take the house from you. So here's leads that, that we can go after and target and try to, you know, create win-win situations where we stop the foreclosure from happening. We stop the cre their credit from being destroyed and we could take ownership of the house at a deep discount. So I'm going to show you guys how we generate these leads on a daily basis here over at the flip lab. So few tools that you're going to need to start off. Uh, this is. Uh, the MLS. So in Arizona, I use Monsoon. If you don't have MLS access, that's okay. Um, find a realtor in your local area, guys, and someone will be able to kind of give you access uh, so you can look at this. There's other tools like Privy and even PropStream you can use. I use PropStream in this example to kind of show you how we vet these leads, but let's break it down. So um, notice date. What notice date means is that's the date that the sellers get notified that they're going into per pre-foreclosure. From that point, they have 90 days to fix this issue or the bank takes it. So now they're on the time clock. Typically, 90 days might not be enough time to list it on the market, find a retail buyer that's going to take out a mortgage payment. So that's why, once again, this is a great situation where a cash buyer like us is a good solution for these sellers. So if we go back here, let's look at uh, ones that happened yesterday. That just So these are sellers that just got notified. So let's do a quick search. Um, yesterday, there were 13. So now here's a list of all different pre-foreclosures. From here, we're looking for a specific avatar. So what do I mean by an avatar? That means um, other signals besides it just being in pre-foreclosure that might identify these as good leads. The reason why we're doing this is it's all about making your list um, as niche as possible um, with as many um, points on it that can identify a good lead. So things I'm looking for with pre-foreclosures is uh, single owners, non-LLCs, typically people that may have owned the home for a long time, maybe uh, got passed through a family trust. Elderly people are always better targets for us um, than younger people with jobs already. A lot of people on fixed income, maybe for whatever reason, they lose their income, they can't stop paying, they need to find a different solution. So if you look through this list here, Let's go through the top. So 
two owners. I don't like two owners as much because uh, typically one of them can find a solution besides, you know, losing the house or having to sell the house. Let's check out this one. Single owner. Also, guys, um, if the house is really nice, expensive houses, typically those aren't going to be um, great avatars for us because usually people, if it's more expensive house, they're in better financial situations. They're going to have different options. But let's check out this one, Bruce. So Bruce, um, so these are expensive houses. So right off the bat, I'm like, I probably don't want this. Uh, just bought it in uh, 2020 with a, with a big mortgage, $217,000 down. So right off the bat, looking for something else, looking for something cheaper. So let's go back to the list. Once again, looking for single owners. Here's a single single owner, Stephanie, out in Avondale. All right. So mortgage amount, 244. This is kind of in Phoenix. We like to try to find, you know, three, four hundred thousand dollar houses. That's kind of your your average right there. And let's let's see the deed history. This will kind of tell you the story of what's been going on with this house. So Stephanie bought this house back in 2017 for $250,000. Uh, in Phoenix, the market has gone up a ton uh, since 2017. So she's in a pretty good equity position, it looks like, uh, which always helps because that means, she, you know, we could put a lot of money in her pocket in order to stop the foreclosure and still get a good deal. So I like this lead right off the bat. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this copy this address and now we're going to bring this over to true people search if you guys have never used true people search it's a free way to uh, skip trace people so let's go like this avondale boom and there's stephanie so And there's a phone number for Stephanie as well. So Stephanie, it looks like she is 42 years old. She's been living out in Phoenix for a while. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is come over to PropStream. If you guys don't have PropStream, guys, highly recommend it. Uh, great software to use to pull data, pull lists. And I'm gonna try to see, PropStream has a cool feature that has other liens and sometimes even more details on the pre-foreclosure. So as we can see here, it does have the pre-foreclosure notification. Even though this auction date is saying it's 1020, but if we look back, um, the auction date here is going to be in 90 days on March 21st. So. PropStream, not always the most accurate data, but it's pretty good. MLS is always going to have the best best data there. Looks like it might just be due to a, a small HOA lien. Um, so she, she's not paying her HOA. She's not paying the bank. What is going on here? Uh, let's look at mortgage history, see if she's done any refinances lately. So she took out uh, originally an FHA loan when she bought the house in 2017 and then took out another loan earlier this year for $15,000, uh, probably to pull out some equity um, as far as like a HELOC. So she probably needed some cash. So it looks like she might have some money problems. So I am starting to uh, like this lead. So the next thing that I would do from here is I, I would come over to my list sheet and I would add it in. So very simply, uh, just add it. Um, add her phone number, so I would, I would come here. Add Stephanie's phone number. Put her name right here. And just leave a quick note. So I'm gonna say, um, single, Female owner, 42 years old, HOA lien, did refi earlier in, in the year, bought in 2017. So next thing I'm going to do 
Let's just give it, let's give this phone number a call to see if we actually do even have the right phone number. So tried giving that a call, uh, didn't work out, number didn't work. I use some other skip tracing softwares too, guys, like Batch Leads and Intellius. Uh, this will give you other phone numbers. But a lot of the times, guys, the best way to work these leads is actually going to the house and knocking on the door. So let me show you how we plan this out. So I would add this, I would come over here. MapQuest has a cool thing called Route Planner where you can add in uh, multiple different addresses and then it's going to uh, navigate essentially the best route. So like I have some other old ones here um, of leads that, that we worked so far this week. So you would just map a route and you would keep, you know, mapping it and it's gonna give you the quickest route. Um, so let's say if you added 20 on here of, of this month's pre foreclosures, um, it will give you the shortest distance route so you could drive around. So if you spend, let's say, three, four hours a day, and you just drive around the valley, you knock these doors, what you're gonna wanna do is just leave a post-it note if they don't answer the door saying, sorry, I missed you, and leave your phone number. When those people call you back, or if they do answer the door, it's a pretty simple conversation. What I like to do is just say, hey, I see you're having problems with the bank, wanted to offer you a couple solutions to see how I could possibly help. So you don't wanna come in super hard and say, you know, hey, I know you're losing your house, let me buy for cash for cheap. You wanna give them those other options like I talked about, the loan modification, possibly filing for bankruptcy, possibly doing, you know, a refi. Um, you wanna give them these other options to see uh, what their situation is and qualify them out where it comes down to, no, they actually do need to sell and now you're their best option. And if you're in front of them and they do answer the door, the key to success is getting in the house. If you get in the house, you could sit down with them and you could talk to them about buying their house, have a contract in hand and get ready to close that deal. So that's all you really do. So you come here, let's go back to the list and I'll go ahead and go find another one. You know, so once again, uh, two owners, not saying that if it's in an LLC like this one, or if two owners here, not saying that those can't be good leads, but we're trying to vet down um, avatars that we know to, to typically generate better leads for us. So let's check out this one, another single owner in Peoria. Comps look, you know, right around the range we want. Mortgage very low. Uh, bought the house in 2005. That's all good. Let's come in here once again, copy address, go to PropStream. If you guys uh, never use PropStream, free trial in my bio, definitely recommend it. Now here's, a, here's something cool that PropStream shows. So linked properties. So this one, um, it's not showing that he has others. Sometimes when you come in here, guys, it will show you multiple properties that they own. And that could tell you a story too. I mean, if they own like 10 different properties and one's in pre-foreclosure, there's a good chance there's just like an error or, you know, they're, they're gonna be able to fix the situation besides just selling it or letting it get foreclosed on. So if I go to mortgage history, seems like he's never uh, refinanced or done anything there. So that's all fine. Gonna come, let's do true people search. So it looks like that's probably his dad. He's probably junior. So it looks like he's probably 52. Here's some phone numbers. So once again, guys, just what you're going to want to do is take these phone numbers, copy it on the list, add it to your driving route and, you know, call those phone numbers first to see if, you know, you can make contact that way. If not drive out to the house, knock those doors. If they pick up uh, the phone. Great. You're having the same conversation. Hey, I see you're having problems with the bank. Just want to see how I can assist, how I can help. Now, a lot of people in these situations, when you're calling, especially like going this way, where I'm, I'm vetting out the newest pre-foreclosures, you either want to kind of be the first one to talk to them or the last. So right now we're focusing on the people that just got into pre-foreclosure. 
those people, a lot of the times, they're going to kind of be in denial. They're going to feel like they have a lot of time to, you know, weigh their other options out or catch up on payments. So a lot of the times you will have to follow up with, with these leads. And if it seems like it's a good situation where they might not be able to figure it out with the bank, which a lot of times they can't, you know, if, um, if they have really bad credit, they don't have too much equity or for whatever reason, if they can't refi or do a loan mod and they do need to sell and their income st stop coming in, they're probably going to have to sell at some point, but they might be in denial uh, for the first couple weeks. So you're going to want to, uh, diligently follow up with these leads consistently. That's a huge part about getting these pre-foreclosure deals. Now, sometimes you might go there first time, there's a big problem and you know you become the hero right away. Um, if not, you kind of then want to look at the, the, the pre-foreclosures then where the auction date is coming up. So where the auction date, let's say is in the next two weeks, because now they're very distressed. Now it's, you know, they, they probably already, um, you know, you want to start asking them more detailed questions. Hey, um, what is your loan rep saying? You know, when is this supposed to close? Sometimes these loan modifications could take months to close and they don't have that much time. So you want to be in constant communication with the new pre-foreclosures, the ones um, that are getting close to their auction date. And you're going to generate some really, really good leads uh, doing this consistently. Make a driving route, drive around town. And I'm telling you, there's guys in Phoenix that are making, this is all they do to generate leads. They don't pay for marketing. They don't pay for fancy systems or lists. They come on here, they make their driving route. They drive around town, let's say 20 hours a week and knock on doors, leave notes, do exactly what I'm doing. And they'll make a couple hundred grand each and every month just off a couple deals because these are typically going to be the deepest deals that you get. Maybe besides just like inherited properties, um, those are also typically uh, bigger spread deals. So once again, bigger problem you fix, bigger you're going to get paid. Do this to start generating some more leads for your wholesaling business, especially right now. Uh, it, it's a tough time to be spending a lot of money on marketing, guys. So use your dollars wisely. Get a few of these free systems in place and you're going to start generating some really good leads. So I hope you guys really um, got, got a lot of good info out of this video. If you guys need any help, shoot me a message on Instagram. Always happy to collaborate, try to close these deals with you guys. Till next time, please subscribe, like, and share. I'll be back with some more videos coming up.